How do I prevent lock screen of remote computer when remote RDP connection into the computer is started? How do I prevent lock screen of remote computer when remote RDP connection into the computer is started? This question disable lock screen after remote desktop session in Windows 10 is for disconnecting so it didn't help. This question remote desktop connection without locking the remote computer was for Windows 7 and 8. The commands are not working for Windows 10. All commands referenced in this question disconnects the RDP session. Additionally, there was no answer selected for that question as it does not supply a valid solution to the question. Specifically, scom percent session name percent slash desk column console will disconnect the session. You purchase a license that allows you to run the RDP host as a terminal server. The reason the screen locks like this when using RDPs that consumer licenses of Windows allow no more than one active session at a time. The only reliable way around this that lets you continue to use RDPs to get the system license as a terminal server, which is expensive and may require an enterprise or education edition license. Alternatively, there are multiple other options for remote access to a Windows system. If you only care about access from the local network, BNC is probably your best bet, unless you need the session to be encrypted. If you need off-site access, you can find a number of options for it online that not only don't involve RDP, but also give a nice visible indication that someone is remotely connected to the session, and often provide some kind of chat functionality for the local user to talk with the remote user. I found a solution in lieu of rebooting. Open command prompt, issuing query session to get the session ID of RDP. Paste the below content into percent user profile percent backslash desktop backslash close dot bat, replacing session in with the result of step one. Run close dot bat as admin instead of disconnecting from the session. Based on subcoder's answer based on Yura Manathan's answer, with additions from Duncan and Jimadine's comments, I created a scheduled task that runs when closing slash disconnecting the RDP connection. It required a slight tweak to the Feinster command to search for percent username percent instead of active, because at the time of the triggering event, the session is already in the disk state. The task is triggered by the Microsoft Windows Terminal Services Local Session Manager slash Operational Event Log getting a log off event, event it equals 24. Then it runs a simple command whenever a user logs off. The command gets the query session output which looks like. It searches for percent username percent, in my case Nat, and gets the ID column for that row. It passes the it to the scan command with percent k slash desk column console, which unlocks the screen for the logged in user. This command probably only works if the user logging in remotely is the same user logged in locally, but I haven't tested. Here's a task scheduler XML to import. The author and user ID elements are removed and will be automatically filled in with your user when you import the task.
Based on your Amanathan Palanidel's answer, following closer.cmd could be used. I'm <laughs> not